Okay, I'm gonna do a brief demonstration on how to use the AMT Sonic Welder to splice together a perforated poly egg belt. This is your power source. This is the gun. And we have different tips for different situations. If you're, we've got tips for different thickness on the perforated belt. And we also have a tip for manure belt and a tip for woven egg belt. Okay. All right, we're gonna start with the perforated poly belt. This would be the, the belt coming out of the house on top of the table. And this piece would be the, the piece coming out of the house under the table, through the drive system, and back on top. So now you're sitting here with both ends of your belt ready to splice them together. First thing you want to do is take the piece on, that's coming out of the top and, and cut it to a point. I drew, I drew a, a line to indicate where to cut. Just like that. So this piece would be on coming out on top. This piece would have come underneath through the drive system on top of the table. Very important that this side stays on top. You want the point that you just cut to be on top. Okay? Very important that you do this, do the welding uh, up on a uh, solid metal surface. You need the surface behind the belt to be able to do a proper weld. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move the camera so that you can get a better view of the weld. Okay, so now I've got it overlapped two holes on the short side, three holes on the long side. You're gonna take your gun, put your tip where you want to weld. Okay, you're not gonna put a lot of pressure on it. You wanna just let the weight of your hand sink the sink the tip into the into the plastic so you hit the button let the weight of the hand hold it for a couple of three seconds and then let it sit there and cool off for up to five seconds maybe six that way you have a clean weld now next one a couple of three seconds I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm just letting the letting the welder and the gun do the work. All right, hit the button. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So that's a little over two seconds. Then I'm going to let it dry or let it cool. And then move to the next one. See, now those are clean, strong welds. That's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna demonstrate what not to do. All right, so let's say I, I have it like this and it's floating. You don't have it up against a solid surface. See what it's trying to do is separating and it went too deep. It's not what you want. You want you want it to be flat on a solid surface. And if you if you make sure of that, you almost can't mess it up. It's, 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 very, it's very easy to use. The more you use it, the more the easier it'll get. See that weld I got in a hurry and didn't let it cool off long enough. That, 
that is uh that's how you use the, the amt sonic welder if you have any more questions uh, give me a call 864-682-3445 thanks